Hello everyone, Card Desert Hockey back again. Today we got a two box break, two card break of a, I call it the Battle of the One Card Products. We got another box of Clear Cut, which I bought from my card shop again for $85. We also have a Hit Parade from David Adams, a limited hockey edition. I think uh, we all know about Clear Cut, what it can offer. But uh, Hit Parade Limited Hockey also guarantees one card. And it's a, usually a pretty nice hit. Um, it can be a star player um, like, uh, you know, Crosby, McDavid, old stars like Wa, Lemieux. Um, you're pretty much guaranteed a good player and not necessarily making your money back. These boxes cost $130, but uh, I use a $50 gift card, so I got it for $80 pretty much. But if you're not getting a top of the line superstar, which is pretty pretty likely that you won't, you'll at least get it. Um, they offer decent stuff like uh, some higher end inserts and products. Like uh, Premier RPAs, Cup RPAs, um, Future Watch autographs. So, I've only ever opened this once. It was, uh, oops, about three years ago. And I got a, it was a Joe Sackick stick autograph from, a, I think, Lumber Kings. I see a pretty cool one. Uh, it said the big hits that you can get from here are uh, for this particular series, which is now sold out. I'm sure we'll have another one soon. Um, the Crosby Trilogy Autograph 101 from last year's Trilogy. There is a Jack Eichel Future Watch Autograph. I forget what the third one was, but it had it also had a big list of potential players you can pull. It was all uh, pretty good players, if not uh, top line or stars. That was at least names like a uh, uh, Bennington and a uh, Couture. So you're not necessarily guaranteed your money back, but I do think it's a slightly lower risk product. But without, uh, without further ado, let's compare and see which one offers us more. Too bad. Uh, I would have liked to have done this with more than one box of each. Uh, you, you know, I already opened two boxes of clear cut recently. But this usually goes for about 140 and hip prey usually goes for about 120 So let's see. What we get from both and see who we can declare the winner. Once again, I got Cal McCarr here to shield. Hopefully, give us good luck. Not trying to pad this out and just trying to explain because I know less people are probably familiar with the Dave Adams product and clear cut. So, let's hope we get a winner here again. I'll move this out of the way. And our third box is going to give us. Oh, Alexander Texier, high gloss, number to 10. So I guess I'd say we did pretty well there. Uh, have to see what the odds are on the high gloss. I won't waste your time anymore, but definitely a nice one. Uh, not much more to say about that. Uh, definitely better than pulling a plain base. Pretty happy with that. Texier high gloss, number to 10. So that's what, uh, that's what clear cut yielded us. Sorry, Carol. Now let's see what David Adams, David Adams, David Adams will provide. These are usually, uh, I'm pretty sure they're covered by a promotional flyer for the product so or for hit parade so i shouldn't need to shield this one it's already come that way but there we go seal is broken pretty exciting stuff so oh, i do dive on hit parade but i usually get the pucks or the uh jersey I know, be careful with the knife. 
as I almost cut myself. Yep, it's covered. Told you. Oh! Did we get the Crosby 101? Oh, we did. We did get the Crosby 101. Oh my god. My first Crosby autograph. And it's one of the, the three big hits that was advertised in the product. Wow. I'm sorry. I hate. I'm sorry to say it. Hate Crosby. Hate the Penguins. But I always wanted to pull his autograph. What better way to pull it than pulling a one of one? I mean, I think we made out pretty well both. I think it goes without saying the hit parade was a little better. Not that there's anything wrong with the high gloss out of 10, but when David Adams offers more of this, I'm going to have to buy more. Um, I think I'm going to be focusing more on buying singles anyway from here on out. Uh, buying this came about because I did not see a single box price I liked. So, that was probably the first time since collecting that I didn't find anything I wanted to buy. But, I think that paid off pretty well. Um, wow. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully I can do more like this in the future. Hopefully I can buy more uh, limited hit parade. They also have a platinum version for uh, $210. A little riskier, obviously. But, uh, the rate 215 or something like that. But wow. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll be back again.